Here is how you identify something that you know that you need to let go. The very second that you have a signal of pain, whether emotionally or physically, that's when you know that you need to let go, especially if it's consistent. So for example, uh, a very common thing that happens when people drink coffee, right, is they need to do a shit, right? Let's just say this, they need to do a shit. That is a signal from your body literally screaming at you to stop drinking that fluid. If you're drinking dairy, which you shouldn't even be drinking dairy anyways because we're not a baby cow, but if you're drinking dairy and you feel sick or pimples show up and there's, an, there's, there's symptoms of an intolerance to that substance, substance, just dairy, then that's your body telling you that you need to let go. If you're hanging around people and it just makes you feel toxic, it makes you feel heavy, that is a signal from your body that you need to let go. If you're in a fucking job that drives you crazy, that is a big signal that you need to let go. If you're in a relationship with the person and there is something internally, either through a feeling or physically, that is giving you emotional pain or physical pain, that is a signal that you need to let go. The easiest way to make a decision to either hold on to something or to let go of something is, it, is asking yourself, is it giving you pain? Is it giving you physical or emotional or, yeah, those are the two things, physical or emotional pain? If I'm eating a food and for some reason it makes me feel bloated, then I know that I need to let that go. For me, that was bread. I wasn't really self-aware around uh, how bread was affecting uh, my, digest my digestion. But when I noticed and I started to look more into bloating and my friend was telling me about her bloating problems, I started to go, okay, cool. Let me have some self-awareness about what happens to my stomach or what happens to my digestion when I eat certain foods. So I noticed that especially when I ate bread, that my belly would feel like I'm pregnant, but also I just have all of this stomach pain. But I wasn't aware of it until I started to get laser clear on listening to the signals that my body is telling me. That's the best way that you know. How do you let go of something? First find out what is the signals that your body is telling you. And that's how you know. And then you can go on the opposite side of things. How do you know if you need to hold on to something? Is it giving you pleasure? Does it make you feel light? Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel joyful when you're around this person, when you're around this relationship, but consistently? Right, because you can't just say, you know, if you're around a friend and for one day they just, or you meet somebody, right, and then that person just makes you feel heavy, it just makes you feel kind of toxic when you're around them, they could be having a hard day, they could be having a bad day, maybe they went through a breakup, maybe they were stuck in traffic, maybe something happens to them and they're spread, they're emitting out this negative energy that you're just, that you're uh, being affected by. So give them a chance. But is it consistent? That's how you actually know if you need to let go of something. Is it consistent? I know with a lot of people, especially with clients, that when they, when they drink coffee, the consistent pattern is they need to go to the bathroom. I know for me that when I eat bread, the consistent pattern is I get bloated. What is the consistent pattern for you? Who do you need to let go of? What is giving you emotional or physical pain? Leave a comment down below, let me know what that is because I'm actually curious. I'd love to find out what that is for you. So leave a comment down below and I'll, until I see you guys in the next video, remember to love all living things and most importantly, love thyself.